sure there's no mold spores around the lip. When I open it, I don't want anything, any dry spores in there to be able to sort of swirl in. My hands, of course, are washed. I clean them in alcohol. This is a big sucker. This is what happens when you leave your plants in too long. I mean, look at that. That guy's trying to be a tree, which it should. And you notice I've still, I've got a piece in here too that really didn't go anywhere. You know, so it's okay. You got some dead stuff. This is a good chance too to look through the bottom. Oops. You know, just to make sure it's clean. You don't see any cloud or haze around it. There's some cloudy stuff that's okay because it's exuded by the plant naturally for, you know, when it's wounded. Um, just sort of learn to be able to tell that apart from like the milky stuff that would be um, a contamination like yeast. Yeast is sort of more irritating. Um, and we've got preservatives in the mix to keep that from happening. But, you know, once in a while the yeast gets a little overpowering and it can, it'll grow where it wants to grow. Um, we're going to use the preservatives to help keep them down. And so again, you can see all my uh, tops are all lined up on the right-hand side so I can grab them real easy. Let me go ahead. This is a good chance to clean it and take out little brown bits. It's split a few times. See where the plants come together here? Just split that. You know, that's beautiful. That'll give me so many new plants right there. That's mother tissue. You can see that. There we go. And I could split those or plant them together. And what should I do? They're going left and right, so I'm going to go ahead and split them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven plant pieces from one or two if you count the whole jar. I'm going to give that guy his own jar. He's so big. Snap the lids down. These bottles still breathe, so it still gets air. What we need here is oxygen because the plant already has sugar, so it's mostly just metabolizing less than it is um, photosynthesizing. There you go. This is one of my bottles where the lid is broken off, so I'm going to have to do it this way. No biggie. Obviously more convenient when they're all whole, but you know they're not really made for tissue culture, but they work so perfectly. So you see how all this works. You keep doing this, and this is where you'll get your massive multiplication. Now, of course, we want some of our plants to grow roots. I don't have any right now, but remember that a rooting bottle looks just the same as a multiplying bottle, except that it's got the pink media in it, which we use for rooting, and pieces like this would be perfect for that, you know? Um, so imagine that this is pink, this is where we'd be putting plants to grow roots instead. Get tall. This, this, if it was rooting, is what we would be taking out and planting in our rooting plug, in our regular prop tray. That's what you're going to grow into your big plant. We still have these to multiply out and give us all of that over again. So there's multiplying tissue culture. If this was red, if this was pink rooting, this would be rooting tissue culture. And I'd probably have done all of these as rooting because I know that I can get this many new plants from just one bottle like that. 
tool goes back in. By the way, the other thing I didn't do here was reach over the plate to get my tools. When I needed something from the alcohol, and this is a tube of alcohol with the tools in it, I pick it up with my right hand and hand it to myself. I don't want to lean over the plate at all. Also, I keep my hands flat on the table, my wrist, so I'm not actually leaning over anything. I've, hopefully, I've been picking up my arms so that you can see what's going on.